12, 20, 28. <clears throat> Got a road at one. So I'm going to leave in about five, ten minutes. Right on to campus to meet um, Harry and Paul, who, if you've seen other videos, they featured in those. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get down to see um, Paddy, who's captain of the society race at Preston Park, which I'm, I'm gutted about, but I really hope he did well. I haven't heard about the results yet. If you haven't been, it's a really good circuit to race. Oh. <sighs> um, I saw I tried to go last night, but there were yobs on the track playing football. Yeah, um, hopefully going to push Harry for about 40 miles. He's not feeling too great, but it should be an easy spin for me. I've managed to, I've finally gotten around to putting the saddle down on the bike. Oh, it's not there. It's in the hole, ready to go. Finally got around to putting the saddle down by like a centimetre to ease my knees up. Go easy, just try to see if it feels any better. Because I don't want to push myself on a pull bike foot. But I've got tools with me. Not like... Not like a tool kit, but um, a multi-tool. So if it's still funny, then um, I can adjust it out on the ride. I keep looking at the screen. Should be looking at the camera, which is there. It's really difficult because I'm, I'm filming this in the front so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm rambling. I'm rambling. You've probably heard this right from other YouTubers and, and shit like that. Right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, I'll start that again. So Harry, what were you saying about your climbing? Might be getting better. Are you getting better? Perhaps. Yeah? I think so. You're, you're going to tell the viewers how much better you're getting? Very so slightly. Very so slightly, Give viewers. Very so slightly. Chris Room, 120 cadence soon. Here comes Paul. There he goes. Go on, Paul. Right past. Mm, yeah. Oh, no, he's not going right past. I thought you tapped the chain. I thought you tapped the chain or something. No, I went down. And um, we're all back together. To lower. Yeah, and I thought it'd come off. Oh. Oh good, bye. I generally so, in conclusion, really great ride today. I've got some sweet pictures on the bike and off the bike. Um, so check out my Instagram, check out the Cycling Society's Instagram, because I post stuff there as well. And the Twitter, and all that stuff. But um, this was my bike today, because you didn't get a side-on shot of it. I took a single bottle, because doing 40 odd miles I only go through one, because I'll like i pre-hydrate. Very glad I didn't have to use the other thing. As part of my risk assessment in the Cycling Society, I'm like, I should take a first aid kit with me. And I was sort of thinking this morning, oh, where can I put it? Can I put it in like an old bidon? And I was like, I'm look round, don't have any little fit in. So I stuck it in the old bottle cage and it rattled all the way, which is really fun. Obviously, it was like standard setup. I had mine like, oh, where did I put it? It's over there. I don't sleep with my mini pump, it's just on the bed for reasons. Um, mini pump in my back pocket to pee. If I point the camera in the right place, it would help, wouldn't it? To peak saddlebag and lasagna light front, and I took a front light just in case. Didn't need to use them. Um, I would probably stick those on charge tonight. But I'm going to go to the car now to get food. Catch you guys in a bit. So. Fantastic day. I've got like no work done, no um, uni work done, which is less fantastic. I've got like, I mean, behind the camera, what the phone? I'm using my phone. I've got like five sheets of thermodynamics problem sets that I've I've got to finish um, soon. Put a bit more light on my face so you can see me a bit better. Bit of a Strava rundown. Uh, my average speed was 15.2 miles an hour. I, well, approximate, I didn't take a heart rate monitor with me today because I just felt like going out for the joy of it. So the approximated calorie burn is 1,338. And it, I was out for about four hours. But we did sit down in Stan's Bike Shack and we did stop a couple of times. I stopped a couple of times to film Harry and Paul. Um, and I just, I was very, very tired <laughs> going back up Ditchlin Road home. Um, because if, if you're from Brighton or, um, I mean, it wasn't the side coming from Ditchling, which is like the London to Brighton route. It's, it's coming up from Old Steen and then straight up and it is just, <laughs> it kicks quite a bit. So you sort of like, da, 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 it, it does kick quite a bit and it's a bit of a pain, but I was very tired going back up there. 
but I'm quite pleased with how much I've done this week. I've done about uh, 90 miles this week. 90, 95 miles. I didn't hit 100 um, because I dropped my target down. Well, my British Cycling Premium ran out this month, which is... Mm, it is what it is. I'm not going to pay for premium again at the moment because I'm strapped for cash. But um, it was a really good day out with Paul and Harry, guys from the Society. Um, oh, and the cake... If you are from Sussex, go to Stan's Bike Shack. Their cake is fantastic. The coffee's bloody good as well. But it was packed there today. Loads of mountain bikers. Uh, a few roadies. Um, Harry spotted a cube and he was like, Oh, that's really nice. Because that's how Harry sounds. Um, I'm really pleased with that. And I hit 36.9 and miles an hour. And that wasn't coming down Ditchland Beacon. That was... Oh, where is it? It's like, there's this bit on the route. If you look on my Strava, you'll be able to see, like, I'm isolated where I live, so you won't be able to see any of that, but you'll be able to see where I go and sort of, like, the, the speed stats. Um, but there's this really great bit um, just before the bike shack, and, well, not just before, it's like, I don't know, maybe three, four miles before it? Really great bit. Flat roads, and it just bends around. It's really bendy. But you get a real good lean into it, and you can get like smash out the speed. And there's a little bit of a downhill, and I was able to hit 36.9 miles an hour. I call it 37, but someone will look at my Strava and call me out on it. Cough, cough, Harry. Um, yeah, fantastic day. Um, it was a little windy, but other than that, it was just a really nice day to ride. And I really hope the weather continues like that. So. I hope you enjoy the footage, there's not a lot of it from the ride because it's. I'm still not particularly confident riding on the road and holding my phone at the same time. I think it's a bit hypocritical if I'm commuting in in the mornings and having a go at drivers for using their phones while they're driving. So I'll tend to not film on the bike if, if I think it's going to be a danger to me or other people. Um, it was really nice to go along the seafront. Tons of people down by Palace Pier. Tons of people. Um, check out my Instagram. Check out Cycle Socks Instagram. Uh, give us a follow, both of them. I run both accounts, and then the social set runs Instagram with me. Yeah, give them a follow. Um, there's stuff like Twitter you can do, but that's just Cycle Sock Updates. So if you're at Sussex, Cycle Sock Updates on Twitter. We'll do like live updates and stuff at races. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you watching this, and if you've got this far through me mumbling, I'm dead impressed. Um, subscribe for more. Which is what the next thing will say. I keep saying subscribe for more. And then I put in a slide that says subscribe for more. And then put it in the subscribe button. Seems a bit pointless. Anyway, maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow.